It wasn't until 1943 that street sharks became the phenomenon that we all know it for today. And that year, street sharks became the titular comeback king of everything you wanted it to be and more. People were dressed like street sharks. People ate each other. People became sharks. People began getting plastic surgery, the first plastic surgery that ever existed to become shark people. They consumed one another and their children, harvesting and eating thousands, if not millions, of human eggs, ensuring that our future species would not exist. And it's not to say that street sharks really weren't some kind of bad thing. They were. It was a really bad thing. But I think it's important to note that while they ate each other, they ate the green worms, or they were shredded those early sea waves. Rock on. Hello there and welcome to the Matt Hawker Show. I'm Matt Hawker. We have some exciting things to discuss today, but it's mostly all going to be brushed under the rug because today I have a job interview. This job interview was disclosed to me by the ancient warlocks of Greece. Now, Grecian warlocks are, are sort of a, a legendary folk type, and I don't really want to get too far into what they are, but let's just say I made a couple deals and here they are to, to interview me through me. Hey, Matt, how are you doing today? Welcome to the job. Hey, Matt, I'm doing... Oh, no. I don't really think that hand jobs make any sense. I, uh, this is just my opinion. But, you know, when it, it just sounds like kind of like too businessy of a word. I mean, the reality is, you know, when someone asks for a hand job, it just seems like they're asking for, like, you to do a job. I mean, the job is right there in the name. And I mean, I already work, you know, a 40 hour week. I don't, I don't need to do a hand job. It just doesn't seem like something that I would be that interested in. And I, and I mean, like, how do you even interview for a hand job? It just doesn't really add up to me. So I think we need a new word for it. I don't like handy because that just sounds like someone who's useful. And I mean, I guess in the context of what's taking place, that is useful, but, but it's not the kind of utility that I'm really looking for in a situation like this. So, um, I, I, pr I, I approach this from three different angles, and I'll go ahead and present them to you. Now I'll let you, the listener, decide what you think is the best way to go with the term. So the first one is handling. And again, that's handling. Um, and so the idea behind this one is it's sort of bouncy, like a trampoline. And this sort of goes with the whole rhythmic flow of what a hand job actually is. There's a lot of up and down. There's a lot of motion. It's exciting. It's exhilarating. It defies gravity at times. You know, I think a handling is, is sort of a, a good way to approach this. So the second one is New Hampshire. So this is sort of a play on New Hampshire, but it's uh, instead using a hand. Now, why this might be a good alternative to hand job is mostly because it sort of adds a, a geographical flair. And I really feel like New Hampshire's tourist industry is doing terrible. So I think this could really help revitalize that and bring that state into a light that, you know, most people haven't seen in within years. And, and I guess I'm trying to say that we can sort of use this to bring back its porn industry. And, and we all know that the New Hampshire porn drought of 99 was detrimental to its people. I, I mean, those the, the porn caves are empty. The porn factories aren't producing anything. These are people who lived and die by porn. I think it does a disservice to them to not give them an opportunity through New Hampshire. Just something to consider. And the third and final option, um, and, and this one might be my personal favorite. And I'm and and just you know, like I said, hear this one out. I'm gonna call it the hond, the hond. It's sort of a postmodernistic reflection of what the hand job actually is. Uh, it's it's spoken with a sort of deeper embellishment to to really give it a categorization, a flavor, a, a nice hond. So 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 like, darling, I would love to give you a hond tonight, and and I think this is sort of proper yet 
any it's it's accessible it's short and sweet um those with special needs or physical disabilities can access this word relatively easily because it's almost not even a word it's just a sound so if you are lacking hands or feet or um uh, your your center body if you're just a rolling head this should be pretty easy to pronounce even without a tongue um, or eyes or ears. So whatever you're missing, or if you're non-existent, a hond should be relatively easy to produce. Uh, these are things that I, I think are worth debate. And and I understand that all three options, there are a lot of scholarly principles that go into all three. And, and I really want to dive into that tonight, um, scholarly principles concerning these things. But I don't have time. So instead, what I'm going to do is go into an interview. And um, here it is. Here's the interview. <sighs> Hello there. Uh, uh, hey. No, no, I said you. Hey, I'm hey. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Hello and welcome to the Matt Hawker Show. Um, um, oh my God, Jesus Christ, <sighs> fuck. Hold on, I have show notes somewhere. Um, you, what, what, uh, hold on. Hold well, on I, 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 okay. Um, what is the most erotic type of sandwich? Erotic type of sandwich. Go. Erotic type oh, sandwich. Okay. Not uh, and wait, wait. No, I'm all I, out of order. I have, a, I have them in I'm email. Sorry. I have them in email. Um, Just give me, give, give me. Uh, who are uh, you? I'm, I'm Brandon. Who are you? That, uh, who are Brandon, you? Brandon Cruz. And uh, yeah, you know, I. Oh shit! No, I'm lost too. Um, okay. Brandon Cruz. Uh, yeah, you do. You do a thing. What? Um, no, I, I, don't, right. I don't. I don't. I don't have any information on Look, Brandon the, Cruz. Brandon Cruz. I. I oh, Jesus Christ! Where's Brandon Cruz? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, let's let, hold on, let's just let's just restart. Three. Hey there, and welcome to the Matt Hawker Show. Um, oh my God, what do I say? Uh, do Do you want to just start it off? Yeah. No. I, I, yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Matt Hawker Show. I am Matt. Hey, I am. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm uh, Brandon. Hold on. Hold on a sec. I lost my my notes for a second. No, that's not it. Shit. Um, fuck. Oh, what uh, a terrible host. Jesus. All right, Christ. Well, do you want to? You want to try? Why don't you try starting it? All right. Yeah. I'll I'll try starting off. Hold on a second. Let, let me pull up my show notes here. Okay. Hold on. All right. All right. Uh, three. Hey there, and welcome to the Matt Hawker Show. Uh, happy to have you on today. Uh, tell us a little bit about hey, yourself, hey, Brandon Matt Hawker. Cruz, uh, who I'm uh, of course, for my you're right. I am Brandon Cruz, and uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm I'm on the Matt Hawker show. I've <laughs> uh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's it's pretty good. A little a little tickly, isn't it? Hey hey, Brandon Brandon, do you have a do you have anything that you do? You, anything that you're about? Like, what are you what are you into? I'm I'm a, I'm about the grass at the tip of my fingers. The, I was walking through my lab one night. Go, go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, uh, and uh, and yeah, uh, right. Yeah. And and sort of you know what I was saying. Um, well, and and sorry, I have a cold, so you'll have to excuse. Yeah, yeah, excuse me if I if, no, no, no. If, if I fade you're, 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 if I fade in no. and out of 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 the you know if I fade. Brandon, what is the most erotic type of sandwich? Go ahead. Well, it's interesting you say that, Chris. What I found about sandwiches, and this is it's a it's a big part of my life. Uh, who I am, I studied sandwichology in um, in my freshman year of uh yale uh, which yale mm -hmm. yale under college which is it's actually it's a sub it's a sub college of, of yale uh not a lot of people know about it but um you can find it you can find it in the yellow pages uh if you can find any of those anymore but uh, hopefully that answered your question i i i've 
I, I've never seen a yellow page in, in my life, Brian. I'm going to be honest with you. But you know what? Hey, look, I'm not here to judge you. Uh, why are feet so terrifying? Well, it's it's interesting to ask, Chris. Uh, we, it actually it takes me back to a long time. I, I went to went to college a few years back, and I actually studied uh, the 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 fears um, of people have of, of feet. Um, and you know, it, it's interesting. It's interesting you bring that up. Definitely. Hopefully that answered. Hopefully that answered everything you needed to know about. That. Was your father or mother more racist? Uh, definitely, definitely my mother. Um, she she used as because you know, my my parents are they're bi they're biracial. Both of them they're they're bi. Um, <coughs> Sorry about that. And what I found is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, you know who you are or, or where you are. My my mother, she she loves all people. And I mean, what's more racist than love? <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you know, um, you know, I, I got to tell you, there like a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that are more racist than love, Brandon. Well, I dare you to uh, give me more than um, thirty examples. Go. Sure. Um. So. Um. Anyway, could you go ahead and solve for X real fast? Yes. Done. All right, cool, uh, Brandon. You know, you know, we, we've really we've really hit some hard hitting subjects tonight, and you know, I'm glad we've been sort of diving into subjects that mm-hmm. you know a lot of people wouldn't even touch with their um, their urethra. So I, I guess I just you know I really want to know, um, you know, Brandon, maybe you know you know we've we've been sure. talking for sure. um, a couple a yeah. couple seconds now, so I really feel like we've gotten to know each other. Um, uh-huh. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, do you do you, do you think that there um uh, <laughs> some uh, yeah no what do you <sighs> yeah abs- absolutely so hoagie I feel is the most erotic sandwich yeah yeah you know I I think so too Brandon yeah I think so too hey what are the what are the what are the pros and cons of the electoral college well this is a really interesting thing you you bring up um Scott. The the electoral college. What I found in my in my deep research uh, when I was studying uh, at the under college of Harvard was that the electoral electoral college is actually. <laughs> and so, hopefully, that answers your question. Oh, that that's pretty good to know. Um, do, do, w- you know, maybe, no, maybe it, we should just start this whole thing over it, again. It, it's my, I, it's, know, it's my bad. Just, it's my bad. It's, like, all right, how about just? T- t- I. No, no, no. It is. I. No, it's man. It's. Mm, okay. Uh, I, let's, I just, let's, I, just, I, let's I, just. Let's 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 just. Welcome to the Matt Hawker Show. Um, uh, what are the moral implications of displaying and beating children like pinatas? Go ahead. Well, the they don't have candy in them uh, unless you stuff them with candy uh, beforehand. But then you have to make sure the candy's wrapped. I've I've found is is the biggest difficulty there. Uh, you know, you can't go with like just the tootsie rolls. You have to really because the, the the plastic, the the paper kind of like melts. It's it's not waxy enough, and uh, that that's what I found. So, what kind of child? What what kind of candy would you stuff into the holes Ooh, of children? Uh, well, there's this really really great company located in um, South Shore uh, that, that really specializes in children's pinata candy. Uh, it, it's it's kind of like a, a saltwater taffy um, that they that they use from they make out of tendons uh, because it's stretchy stretchy tendons. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, um, anyways, I'd, I'd was that a was that a comedy that you nope. just made there? No, uh, what what I call that is um, convenient wordsman sings. <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay, I'm again. I'm sorry. Let's let's start. Let's. Uh, <laughs> then where 
Wages. Federal wages. Seastar in Chavez. It's time to slow it down before the shop ends. Seastar in Chavez. It's time to slow it down before the shop ends. Brazil is big. Brazil's back in the action. Brazil coming at you live at 3.10 p.m. tonight. Brazil will be starring with guests Michael Curry and Ronald Reagan. And it's all new grand show. Brazil's back in the action. Our first Brazil coming at you live at 3.10 p.m. tonight. Brazil will be starring with guests Michael Curry and Ronald Reagan. And it's all new grand show. It's our first caller for a chance to win a Brazil. When I was a child, I would hold my breath for minutes until my face became a red blueberry. Uh, this might seem a little jarring to you. Uh, a red blueberry? How does that make sense? Wouldn't that make you purple? You're right, it would, because when you combine those two colors, that creates purple. So good on you for listening, and I, I really appreciate your skills and and determining what that color is and how to get there. Uh, Not a lot of people know that, and you know I'm proud of you for understanding it. So thank you, listener, for for giving us that opportunity to share that with you. I I really hope that that's something that you and I can take away from this and cherish forever. And and it's not to say that I don't cherish it, uh, because I didn't say that, and I do cherish it. And so, you know, thank you. Anyway, today uh, I want to talk about uh, the, the many trials that sharks experience on a day-to-day basis and and what we can do to help them revitalize their lives and careers. Um, so so it's no it's it's no it, it's 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 no it's 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 no 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 it's no dream of mine to see a shark die it's no haunting fear within my soul. I love the shark. Two roads I diverged do, in a yellow I wood. Do. And sorry I could not I travel. I love the fear. And be one traveler, long I stood. Too. And looked down one as but far as I could. we must come to where together to and the undergrowth. save then our little the sharky friends just from harm. And having perhaps and all the better claim, that because it was grassy the land. Wear. Though as for that, so the passing bear had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally It means that you and I must fly no to the shark land oh, to I save the shark for friends. day. We Yet must gather them so close so way. that they I can't feel love again. Oh yes, I it's my sharky friends, sigh. my sharky ages friends, ages my sharky two little roads friends. Diverge in a wood. I love and them I, and I'll and hold I them in until all the time does and end. And that has made all the difference. And I really think we need to make sure that these sharks are safe. You know, I was talking to um, uh, Mr. Mr. Goblinky uh, in the depths recently. And he said that there's no jobs down there. They just have nothing. All of the puffer fish are taking them and it's infuriating for them. And I feel for this guy and I don't really know what to do for him. Um, I, I'm not sure what I can really do for Mr. Goblinky. I, I, I wish I had a better answer for him, but I think that if we all throw our money into the ocean, maybe we can help revitalize that economy. You know, some argue that you can't just throw money in the ocean, that the reality is if you just give money into the economy, it's not going to really produce results, that you have to really transfer those funds to something tangible to gain something. And I, I agree with that to an extent, but I, I think that there really isn't any other, there isn't any economy to to purchase from down there. It's just darkness and water. Nobody wants that. I, I mean, you can get darkness anywhere and you get water somewhere else and then you can just put a glass of water in a dark room, shut the door for 48 hours and, you know, come back and you have dark water. So I, I don't really think that that's something we need to do. Um, I instead think that we need to throw money in the ocean, not coins. I, I think those can be heavy, especially if they go in the depths. You could crush sharks or blue whales. I mean, that's how most blue whales die, honestly. They get coins stuck in their blowholes or or it just crushes them. The mere weight of a penny just burns right through them and you have blood all over the ocean and then the sharks are going crazy. So it's a dog-eat-dog world down there, except there are no dogs. There's only sharks. That's it. Just sharks in the ocean. And I want to help them. So be sure to donate your money now by dialing in one ocean sea lake river pasta 
but they're there. Throw your money in there. Fantastic. Anyway, I want to talk about something that really is close to the heart. Uh, and and heart is is something that we all have. We all have one. Um, it's pumping blood right now. And I I think it's interesting that sometimes if you're really quiet in, in, in just the dead of night or in the dead of morning or the dead of lunchtime or um, the dead of rush hour, you can hear it beating. You know, it's strange, isn't it? You know, you have this whole body and you can be perfectly still and it feels as if nothing is happening and yet there's this throbbing ache in your core and it really makes you think deep down that in the grand scheme of things all we are is just thriving screaming flesh trying to be something beyond just purposeless mounds on a wet rock floating around space just barely dodging other potentially wet rocks circling around giant balls of gas that keep us alive and continue us down our thriving chaotic path of misunderstanding and misfortune and that's interesting i'm a fan of that i think that's something we can really work on together and you know maybe maybe even grow into a little bit uh that's that's my takeaway from that what's yours go ahead and tweet me at twitter.com slash matt hawker show to let me know what you think of thriving, agonizing pain and misery that we can never escape because we're trapped on this tiny floating rock. I mean, is it really even floating? People talk about all the time how planets are floating in space, but what, where's your reference sheet for that? Like, we're not in, like, a, an ocean. You know, there's no real way to know that we're floating. I mean, if anything, we could be flying or hovering or dashing or skipping or gaining or gallivanting or stripping or tailgating the point is that there are so many things that we could be doing and i think it's just unfortunate that we always go to hovering or did i was did it start with hovering floating yeah floating yeah sorry i lost pace to this um i lost my page uh i lost my way and i i work every day to get back on that path once again it's, it's been hard it's been hard for me um I am part of the 40 Days and 40 Nights program where you go to Alaska and have to survive vampires killing off friends and family. And and I gotta say, I really think it's helped me work through some of my addictions and some of my own personal, mental, and health-related issues. Uh, thank you for helping me work through this at this time. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Goblinky, who I spoke to recently, and he actually just got his uh, doctor degree. Uh, his degree in doctorism. So thank you, Dr. Goblinky. I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing my communications with him in a spiritual fashion. Uh, that's because I'm a spiritual guy. I really believe in the spirit. The spirit of... 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 Uh, I don't think anyone should wear condoms. No one. There's just no need for them. I, I mean, really, what, what are they doing for anyone? It's just, just you know, like wear a plastic bag. You know, we have all these bag issues. Everyone's talking about how we have so many plastic bags. You know, do that. Or those like those little beer tab things, you know, little, the little six pack tab. Just put that over that. You know, it's easy. Come on, people. Learn how to sex. It's not it's not hard. Just do it. You know, just just put a thing on it. Put a put a put a circle on it. Put a circle on your wee wee. That's what I believe. Um, anyway, this show was brought to you by Wacky Larry today, uh, part of Wacky Larry's Mattress Extravaganza Extraordinaire and Paper Airplane Tapioca Hoedown. Uh, thank you, Wacky Larry, for that. I really appreciate that. I would also like to thank um, the following numbers, which are... Uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. Oh, this is... Uh, 16, 33, and... I owe you. Again, that's 1633 and I owe you. Spectacular. Anyway, thank you for tuning in today at the Matt Hawker Show. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Matt Hawker slash Matt Hawker Show. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I just, I'm fine. You can, you can follow me on Facebook.com slash The Matt Hawker Show. You can also follow me on Patreon. You can follow me there. You can give me some money if you'd like, but please don't give me any money. Please, please stop funding this. Please, I can't. Oh. 
It has to end. It has to stop here. Let this die. Let it end. I'm begging you every episode. I am begging you people to please let me die. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> Episodes on themathawkershow.com. And of course, you can rate, review, and subscribe to the show on Podchaser, where podcasts are are pod and pod and st- st- pod and stroll, a new lasagna type for sound. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and don't ever forget that your grandparents are part of the Matt Hawker show experience. And every day I visit them and I talk to them and I, I share a few laughs with them and that's more than you'll ever do for them. And they're not happy about it. Uh, particularly the part where I bother them every single day. They're, they don't like it. They're not a fan of it. They ask me to stop and I, I just can't. I, I love them. I touch them. I hold them. I want to be them. And when they die, I'll crawl into their skin and become them. And then I'll cherish you, my grandchild forever. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What are you doing? What's up? How you doing? Modern what's conversation. Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What are you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What are you doing? What's up? How you doing? What? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What's up? Not much. What? Language. What's what they do it? What's the word in? What's the vocalization? 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 What's the word in? What's